this is Owen again and right now I'm at Phuket's International Terminal 2. We just passed by here before we head to the domestic terminal, which is a Terminal 1. Terminal 2 is dedicated only for international flights. This terminal is modern and pretty new. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button now. I would really appreciate your support on my channel. We actually arrived in Phuket this morning just to check out Nayang Beach and now we're set back to fly to Bangkok but this time we're flying Vietjet Thailand. It's a new low-cost airline in Thailand that's partly owned by Vietjet of Vietnam. They operate a fleet of Airbus A320 and A321 with some domestic and international flights out of Suwanapum Airport. Our flight actually leaves 1.25 p.m. but was cancelled weeks before and we were moved to the 3.30 p.m. flight for no reason. For this flight, I only paid 850 Thai baht including seat assignment and meals. Good deal but not sure about how they provide service on board. Check-in opens two hours prior to the flight and it is expected to have a full flight. Well, security was fast and soon after we're already on the gate area. Great improvement on this terminal because before it was really cramped and seating is very limited. Hi, so we're done with checking in. Uh, our flight to Bangkok is via Vietjet, Thailand Vietjet. Uh, 3.30 p.m. flight and uh, it's actually on time so yeah we'll just wait <laughs> As the aircraft arrived late from Chiang Rai province, our flight was moved to 4.15 p.m. Boarding was very chaotic at 3.30 as there are so many impatient passengers waiting to board the aircraft, especially those mainland Chinese passengers who simply wants to cut lines. As an etiquette guys, don't cut lines. Board the aircraft based on your group number that's shown on your boarding pass. The plane won't leave you anyway if you're already at the gate. So by the way, registration of this aircraft is HSVKA Airbus 320. We were greeted by the beautiful cabin crew of Thai Vietjet. Now let's head to seat number 30B. For this flight, I'm gonna test sitting on the middle seat and let's see if it's gonna be a comfy one on the flight. Okay, well, the seat it's very tight, very limited legroom. Also, the tray table is very small. Uh, I, I could find it hard to eat on board with this little amount of room, especially at my size. Although, this is very common on most low cost airlines. So, when you fly a low cost airline, I would suggest you pre book exit rows. Here are the contents on the seat pockets. Well, I noticed that Thai Vietjet or Vietjet Thailand offers a lot of uh, in-flight services like uh, hot meals and also some other buy on board services. I actually pre-booked a hot meal which is a masaman curry.
switch off all electronic devices, including mobile phones in flight mode. Laptop, computer, and electronic games can be used when the seatbelt sign is off. Suanabun Airport. Flight time is 1 hour and 10 minutes. Soon after, the seatbelt sign has been turned off and the cabin crew began offering buy on board service and delivering hot meal orders. Please prepare your boarding pass to our cabin crew. Thank you. Thank Masaman chicken curry. It comes with a 500 ml bottled water and also a brownie. I find the content really generous and the food quality is great but eating this on a very small tray table, a very limited space, I'm so challenged. Well the chicken is very tender, it's so flavorful, it's indeed delicious so thumbs up for the catering though. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now starting this in into Sonabung Airport. We will be your laboratory at this time before the civil service. Now let me give you my personal opinion about flying Vietjet Thailand. My views may be subjective as it's my first time flying them, although I want to be honest. It was great that Vietjet informed us weeks before that the flight uh, departure has been delayed to an afternoon flight. Check-in was actually smooth and fast despite the queues are getting long. Boarding was chaotic as many passengers are so excited to board the aircraft, although the crew was able to manage it by rows. Flight attendants, they are charming, smiling, but they, for me, not all seem to be that genuine and engaging. 
Most of them, most of the time they were just in the galley, chit-chatting after rolling their by on board service and came to check on passengers prior to landing. The seat itself is very uncomfortable despite it's a leather seat. It's very hard to move at all making the flight really uncomfortable. Lastly, the flight was further delayed which gave me an impression that Vietjet is not 100% reliable when it comes to on-time performance. But I would still fly with them for sure since uh, their service when it comes to meal was great and the fare is such a bargain. I just hope that they will be really on time next time I would fly with them. It was 5.35 p.m. that we landed at Suwanipum Airport. Total flight time of 1 hour and 20 minutes due to the some cloud buildups along the way. Well, what I like about Vietjet Thailand is that they fly out of Suwanipum Airport, which is convenient for commuters using the airport rail link connected to the city. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I hope that you like it. Would you also consider flying Vietjet Thailand? Let's talk about it in the comment section. Also, watch out for my next vlog which is another Thai carrier called Thai Smile. It's a regional airline owned by Thai Airways flying me through Chiang Mai on the premium economy class. So watch out for that. For now, safe travels everybody. Kop kun kap. Hi guys, we're now at Suwanapum Airport and we arrived 5.25 in the afternoon. It was actually delayed, very uncomfortable because there are some uh, pass yeah. uh, some passengers were really rude and uh, the seat is uh, and uh, the seat is very uncomfortable especially the tray table masikip siya parang sa Cebu Pacific so sorry if I'm complaining maybe because I'm big but yeah I, I didn't like the flight sorry Okay, so we don't have any bags uh, since we just went uh, to Phuket for one day. Uh, now we're actually at the baggage claim and we're heading straight to the airport link. So uh, since we have checked in Pakami sa Bangkok, uh, going to uh, Bangkok City, we're taking the airport link to uh, Pratunam Racha Prarop Station. So 40 baht siya. and uh, I think it's yun yung pinakamura going to the city. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to please subscribe on my channel. Also, please let's support Mitch, Boss Mitch. Okay, he's already famous. No, he's but, not famous. Uh, uh, yeah, let's watch his video. Okay, bye.